Engaging reluctant learners may be one of the hardest things a teacher can do. What if you actually had a template to do it? Welcome to the Hack Learning Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Barnes, bringing you right now solutions to some of your biggest teaching and learning problems. Now, let's hack learning. This is episode 90 of the Hack Learning Podcast. It's hard for me to believe that there are 90 episodes, and I have to thank you for listening. Otherwise, there probably wouldn't be 90, you know? Who who knows how many there would be? Maybe uh, after 10 or 15 or 20, if no one was listening, I would have said, okay, enough of that, because nobody wants to just shout into a barrel, right? So I appreciate you for tuning in for tweeting out the show, for talking to me about it, tweeting at me, talking to me on Facebook. Some people email. I've got some great people on the email list, and I email stuff out periodically, and, and they'll reply. A lot of times people say, yeah, I'm really enjoying the podcast, so I appreciate that. There's great reviews, and I, I love that. And if you haven't gone to iTunes and dropped a review on the show, please do so because um, those help. We really appreciate it. So 90. So I, I thought about this and, you know, obviously I'm hoping there's going to be 100 and maybe 150 and who knows. So 90 is not the, the most monumental number. But I thought if we're going to do something big like 90, let's do something on reluctant learners because that is a problem we have to hack over and over again. So I'm really excited for this show because I'm going to talk about two important people uh, people who are important to me, friends, and that's really cool to be able to talk about your friends on a show like this. So I'm going to talk about uh, Jim Sturdivant, and you likely know Jim Sturdivant as the guy who wrote Hacking Engagement. And Hacking Engagement is 50 tips and tools to engage teachers and learners daily. And what Jim does is he, it's not all technology, you know, he mixes in, gracefully mixes in tech tools and strategies and just really a lot of simple things that we maybe don't think about that are great for engaging learners. Well, hacking engagement, uh, I'm happy to say, is so popular that, uh, you know, Jim started doing the hacking engagement podcast and you, you should check that out at jamessturdivant.com and you can check his podcast out and you can get it on iTunes and it's a great show. I've been on Jim's show. He's been on my show. We, we love podcasting so we've done a lot of that. And what Jim does is he takes a lot of the hacks in his book and he talks about them and he brings on students who actually enjoy the tools and his tips and, uh, and they talk about them. And that's just really amazing. I don't know too many podcasts that actually bring students on to talk about teaching and learning. So I love that. Well, in fact, it's so popular, his show, the book, that people are clamoring for more. And Jim, who's taught for well over 30 years, 34 or 5, I think he's at now, has so much. I mean, this is a guy that just keeps learning, keeps getting better, loves teaching, loves kids, and just wants to be the best. So he's always exploring, he's always bringing in new things, he's engaging learners like no one. So guess what? Here's your sneak peek, hacking engagement again. 50 teacher tools that will make students love your class is coming soon from the Hack Learning Series by Jim Sturdivant. Now, um, that title, Will Make Students Love Your Class, I put that out in my ambassadors group on Facebook and, uh, and I'll share out the image, too, of the cover. And a lot of people said, man, the cover looks great. It's got a, a cool um, orange color on it. And it's got this zero that's got all kinds of tools in it. It's really neat. And a lot of people said, man, I love the graphic. But some pushed back and said, but can you make kids do something? Well, let me tell you, maybe you can't. Maybe you can't make anyone do anything. But if anyone can make kids get excited about learning and, and about your class, it's, it's Jim Sturdivant. Uh, he is the engagement guru. So I'm excited today in episode 90 of the Hack Learning Podcast to share uh, Hack 93. Now, that sounds like a ton. You said, well, hey, Mark, you, um, there, I thought there were 50. Well, there were 50 in the first Hacking Engagement book. 
And there are 50 more. So we actually start this book at 51. So I'm going to share with you. What a cool preview, right? This book is months away at the time of this recording in June of 2017. We're probably maybe a month and a half, two months out from this book. And I'm going to share some of the content with you because you're my ambassadors. You're, You're the VIPs of Hack Learning. You're listening and reading. And hey, I love you for that. So I'm going to share this with you. I told you in the open that there was uh, that I love this show because I'm talking about two friends. One's Jim Sertiment, and the other is actually a former colleague of mine, Tony Newton, S-T-O-N-I. Tony is a woman. And Tony uh, is a, a great friend. We taught together for many years. And like Jim, Tony is someone who just, she can engage learners in a marvelous way. And what I love about Tony is that not only does she love teaching and helping kids get better, but she wants to work with the toughest kids, the kids who are the most reluctant learners, those who say, I don't like school. I don't like class. Some of them to teachers say, I don't like you. Tony wants to work with them. Cool story, I think, uh, about Tony. Years ago when we were teaching together, um, she was teaching a couple of classes of honors level students, and I was teaching a few classes of honors level. And then we had, I hate to call them low level, but you know, the reluctant learners, the tougher kids. And at the end of a school year, when the principal was doing scheduling, Tony went to this principal and said, you know what? I, I want to teach the reluctant learners. What if we give Mark my honors level classes and you know most teachers are like well yeah i want to i want the honors kids because th- honestly they're easier to teach right i mean they're they're engaged already that's sort of their dna but the reluctant learners man they're tough it's hard to reach those kids but hey that's what hacking engagement's about that's what jim sturdivant's about and it's what tony newton's about so i i thought that was amazing so tony took my classes. She handled all of those tough kids. What an amazingly difficult job. But she did it with a a flair like few people have. And when Jim was writing this book, he told me that he wanted to do something on reluctant learners. And he knows a lot about that himself. But he said, you know, I, I want to talk to somebody who is sort of the guru. And he asked me about it, and I said, hey, Jim, it's your book. You do anything you want, but I'll tell you what. If you want to talk to somebody who's great with these kids, you want Tony Newton. So there's that connection. Jim reached out to Tony. They started chatting it up, and he asked her a lot of questions about what you do. What's the key? And guess what? That turned into Hack 93 in Hacking Engagement again, coming soon. And it's Apply Tony's Template. For engaging reluctant learners. And I'm going to give you a little bit of it today. Hey, you're first. Nobody has this. Nobody's seen this except Jim Sturdivant and Tony Newton. Uh, and I've seen it. But other than that, nobody. So you're getting this. And I'm going to read right from the chapter. Now, this is a rough draft. The words may change a little bit when you have the book in your hands. You're going to love it. you got to get over to Hack Learning podcast.com and the Hack Learning site and check out the cover. Plus, I'll tweet it out to hashtag Hack Learning. You'll love it. Uh, so let's let's listen a little bit. So Jim starts, of course, with the problem, as we do in Hack Learning. He says the problem, it's hard to engage reluctant learners, right? Did you graduate from high school with at least a 3.0 GPA, play a varsity sport, become a member of the National Honor Society? Now, you may be saying, yeah, I did one or two of those, or I did them all, right? Because educators tend to do that. Jim says, teachers who were academically successful, participated in sports, were members of extracurricular groups, and experienced warm feelings when they think about their school days are at a significant disadvantage when it comes to understanding the perspectives of reluctant learners. You can't, he, he didn't say you can't do it. He said you're at a disadvantage. Okay, so... Um, what, what uh, Jim says is that um, the prompts above, those ones I said uh, about, you know, did you graduate with a 3.0, play a sport, were you an honor society kid? He says those prompts don't even account for minority students who may feel alienated because of race, ethnicity, or sexual identity. 
A teacher's gender can be a titanic barrier as well. I've always been intrigued by how some female instructors are champs at engaging reluctant male students, while other female teachers struggle mightily with such kids. I decided to consult an expert, a champion, a guru, find out how she does it. And then we get to the hack, Tony's template. So I've already told you, Tony's a friend of mine and a colleague of mine, and uh, she's from Cleveland, and she taught at Cleveland Public Schools. And uh, she um, had a conversation with Jim, and they talk about a confrontation. And I'm going to share that with you now. A young male student kept mumbling his name and refusing to take out his earbuds when questioned by a female staff member. She became very upset and started yelling. He responded by clenching his fists. He began shaking. Uh, He was barely able to contain himself. I know this kid and realized that I better jump in. I took him aside and just started talking, not lecturing, just distracting him, hoping to cool him down. I nodded to my colleagues as if to say, I got this. Unfortunately, she didn't take the hint. On two different occasions, I calmed him down only to have her circle back and continue her lecture. She kept escalating the situation. This young African-American male was being totally backed into a corner. She had no appreciation of his perspective. All she cared about was getting the last word. When it comes to mentoring young colleagues struggling to engage reluctant male students, Tony advises, be patient. Bonding with reluctant learners takes time. Don't take things personally. Kids can treat you miserably, but be the adult and don't take the bait. Let them get to know you. Tony once helped a young white teacher who was struggling to engage his African-American students. She encouraged him to share his love of heavy metal music. Remarkably, and after some failed attempts, it worked. Be authentic. Reluctant learners love to find your weaknesses. Don't try to be something you're not. Now, you know in hack learning, we're all about what you can do tomorrow because you don't need another five-year plan. And so many teachers, when you're talking about reluctant learners and tough kids and and kids who can rage, um, they need right now strategies. So here you go. Right from Hacking Engagement Again, the new hack learning book, as of this recording, not released from Tony's template, here's what you can do tomorrow. Highlight students on your roster. As I go down through my current crop of kids, it's easy for me to highlight students that process the world differently than I do. Compose a brief perspective, description for each highlighted student. These are one or two sentence reflections, such as, Jason seems very religious, or I think Nikki is a Democrat. Now, I'm going to interrupt this, what you can do tomorrow, um, these, these descriptions of kids, and say what you might do if you've read Hacking Education, the first book in the Hack Learning series. You might go to the 360 spreadsheet. Now, the 360 spreadsheet gives you a nice template for creating just this kind of stuff that Jim suggests and that Tony Newton suggests in Hacking Engagement Again. So so check that out as well. The 360 spreadsheet will give you this template for kids to sort of get to know who they are. And the last, what you can do tomorrow for dealing with reluctant learners. From Tony's template, break down barriers by sharing a hobby. Tony's students from Cleveland Public probably didn't listen to a lot of heavy metal. But nonetheless, her young colleague took her advice, and engaged his students. What interesting hobbies could you share that might particularly interest young males? And as he does in all of his hacks in Hacking Engagement Again, Jim closes with a couple of sentences of summation. He says, Many teachers struggle to understand the perspective of reluctant learners. Engage such kids by patiently applying Tony's template. Hey, this is episode 90 of the Hack Learning Podcast, and I'm so thrilled that you have joined me here today 
to get a sneak peek at hacking engagement again. And Jim Sturdivant brings you 50 more teacher tips that you can use, we say, to make kids love your class. I hope you'll check it out. Learn more about it uh, over on our show notes. Take a look at hacklearningpodcast.com. Uh, I'll be tweeting about this at hashtag hack learning. I'm going to share a picture of Jim's new book. And uh, on the show notes page over at episode 90, hacklearningpodcast.com, uh, I'm going to take this whole chapter and I'm going to put it there. What a great sneak peek. You can go there. You can see Tony's template. You can have a reminder of those what you can do tomorrow strategies to engage reluctant learners. And and once you engage with them, uh, they'll be excited to learn like everyone else. Plus, you'll have so much more in terms of tools and tips to engage any learner with hacking engagement and hacking engagement again. Hey, you can check out all the Hack Learning books at hacklearningbooks.com. And thank you so much for listening. As always, we continue the conversation at hashtag Hack Learning on Twitter and on the show notes page at hacklearningpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. See you next time.